Uh, I care that you're clear about the ultimate battle in, in the world than what side you're on. There's the Judeo-Christian and then they're the left. They're incompatible. Get it? They're incompatible. Am I clear? That is the civil war of humanity. The left versus the Judeo-Christian worldview. Just be honest and clear. I prefer a leftist like her who acknowledges it to, to the, to the uh, self-deceiving who deny, oh, no, that's not, oh, ha, 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 and other eloquent reactions to the point. The book ar- argues that we need to dismantle religion and other overriding powers like the church of capitalism or the cult of self. That's why they're all totalitarian. The self is a cult to the left. There's an article by another, a truly a moronic writer at the New York Times. Uh, the, guy's, the guy's an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to insult him. But he's a columnist at the New York Times. His latest is How Bad the Single Family House Is. That's now that, anything that brings people joy, the left destroys. They're joyless. They're anti-joy. It's an astonishing thing. That is the, the the ultimate political thing I say on this program is the opening to the happiness hour, which almost almost never has politics. The unhappy make the world worse. That is the subtitle for leftism. Are there any happy leftists? There are happy liberals. There are happy conservatives. There are no happy leftists. It is a dark, dark place. You have to awaken to that, or you are not woke. Good one. Back in a moment. The Dennis Prager Show, live from the Relief Factor pain-free studio. 